Isn't this crazy? It's crazy, man. Coach Rack here with my first vlog ever. I just decided five minutes ago to make this thing because we are here at Minute Maid Park in Houston. You excited, man? I'm excited. Wow. What, what are you most excited about, Reg? Uh, stay at top 10, a lot 10. So this is our first time on the field. We are all kind of just like wandering around starstruck at the moment. How are we feeling? This is unreal. Insane. What's, what's unreal about it? Tell me. The fact that the fact that, that top left corner up there is gonna be someone sitting there. Every, some every single seat here is gonna be full. How are we feeling guys? Unbelievable. Yeah, grateful. A couple different times we've had some conversations about is this the last game we'll ever play? Oh, no. <laughs> now we're standing in the Coliseum. <laughs> <laughs> Not my plan, God's plan. At this point, none of us are able to wipe these stupid smiles off our face. Um, I mean, like, every single one of us, this was our dream growing up. Um, and now we're going to get to play in front of a sold out crowd. Um, so many of us were had a time in our life where we thought, okay, this might have been the last game that we've ever played. So many of us have played pro ball um, and had to make some sort of comeback for pretty much every single one of us. So for all of us to be here um, feels surreal, feels special. So I think we're done being starstruck. Now it's time to get into rehearsals. We're gonna take a group photo. It's time to rock and roll. Okay, I lied. Bill is still starstruck. The rest of us are getting to work now. <laughs> I wanna be in the vlog. You wanna be in the vlog? Right, this Sorry, is my first one ever. Coming. This That's is okay. Welcome first vlog, Rack's vlog, Rack Attacks. Uh, this is a beautiful stadium. Can't it's wait to freaking play ball here. Beautiful ball. The dugout is smaller than I thought it'd be. Okay, cool. So are they behind on the whole time online? Yeah. Oh, okay. Getting funky. Yeah. Fun. Let's. Who do you think you are? I am. Up there. Do we get to take BP today? Do you know? Yeah, I just want to hit right now. I want to take BP right now. Dude, think about the echo through here. What is it gonna be like? Put it off the foul pole. Yeah. Let that thing be. Actually, gonna be like. Like that. Okay, they're about to go live. You gotta be quiet. They are right here in Houston, Minute Maid Park. The sold out game is tomorrow, 7 o'clock this game time. But oh, yeah, it's banana ball. For the first time ever tonight in a major league stadium, fan catches a foul ball, it's an out. Are you guys the most talented? Yeah. 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 Have a special, yeah. have a special yeah. message for us, right? Yeah. Let's go! random side note is that the grass is in not as good of condition as I would expect and I think it's because LSU just played a game here uh, the other day and so there's a lot of patches of grass where um, it's not looking too hot so that's something I'm kind of surprised by I was just mentally pictured these big league stadiums as having immaculate fields all the time but um, and they do but I think it's because they have such a hard-working crew going all the time because they clearly got to do some repairs here after having so many games so people just started piling in here I'm not really sure why Let's go! <laughs> oh my God! Let's go! There's like, we might break the decibel so meter. There's like a hundred people in here, so and it's loud. already loud. What is the record for a decibel? No idea. But we're gonna crush it. Bridge is the best crowd control, crowd hype man, guy of all time. Of all time. The goat, perhaps. He's the goat. So I'm auto is fans first. So again, another little detour before we go to rehearsals. Uh, there's a bunch of fans here, and I think they're here for the team store. So we're gonna go say hi to them. <laughs> All right, what's up, y'all? Oh. Thanks for saying hi to us. Yeah, absolutely. What's up, y'all? This is a fifth grade tour of Minute okay. because we love our shows. Y'all yep. are here, and that is a bonus. We love the Savannah Bananas. I love it. Very cool. What's up, dude? I someone just This is my first vlog ever, actually. I've never done a vlog before, so. Okay, now I think we're actually getting to rehearsal soon. The craziest thing to me is they are, they were loud. Like there's probably 150 people there um, and they were extremely loud. So the thought of there being like 40 times that, or no, 400 times that here tomorrow, this place is going to be so loud. To get dressed for rehearsal to practice. All dressed? Oh, we're getting there. All dressed? Getting there? Getting head banded up. Getting ready to smoke some baseballs and eat some lunch. Count some calories. Yeah. What a beautiful day we have at Minute Maid. Get a little pregame shave going? Yeah, yeah. I definitely need it really bad right right now. We should get some of these at Grayson, bro. We some, do. Some razors, some pomade. Just some just some tooth some toothpaste. Dude, they got the good stuff. Look at this. this is, look at this is some uh as I am. As I am curling, curling jelly. Curling jelly. <laughs> That's crazy. You never know when you need some curling jelly. 
splits getting them going. A is going to be overwhelming. 40K is going to be over. I'm going to be like, <laughs> guys, they're trying to play we're game. To play game. I'm gonna have be a, quiet. I would have a panic attack in the left field, bro. <laughs> Honestly, Mike, I'm kind of worried. And the dude, smoke goes. Dude. <laughs> chills. I got chills. I got chills. Holy cow. That's 100 people. 100 people are almost too loud. That's crazy. Too loud in this place, dude. It'd be 40 we're, we're, we're gonna need, we're gonna need, uh, we're gonna need like earpieces to I, be able to talk. Honestly, it's like football. Yeah. Really Imagine fan warm up, dude. A, oh yeah, dude. Oh that. my god. Like those 100 people are echoing, and we can barely talk right now. 40k is going to be overwhelming. Give me your voices. Oh gosh. Yeah, I might have we're to not gonna be able to hear each other next to each other. No, I can not. barely hear you right now with them. Oh, oh, again, not everyone streaks, so it'll be a different. It'll be, <laughs> I think it'll be a fuller sound. More of a roar. More yeah. Of a <laughs> When did uh, you first get the idea to go into a big league stadium? Was that on your radar right Bill, from the game? Bill, Bill probably remembers. I, yeah. was, I was telling you guys after like uh, Daytona Mobile, yeah. I was saying we're gonna do this. I was like, in what year? And when we first started our first tour. Okay. I think, right? Yeah. I, mean, cause I was going around, remember in Daytona after the game, I was like, we're gonna sell off Fenway. How big something. was Mobile? So that was because of COVID, we could only sell, we sold 7,000 tickets in two days. Wow. That threw me off. Ooh, I think we've gotten lost on our way to lunch. Yeah. Yeah. We're, all, we're literally already lost. Lunch! By way. I figured that Jesse would know where he's going, but no, no idea. <laughs> apparently he also just works here, so. Oh, you're on the bus. That's right. <laughs> we're, we're completely lost. We're we don't know where to go for lunch. <laughs> hey, so we're just wandering around trying to find lunch, just like all of us. Yeah. We're selling merchandise and the train station. Yes. Okay, we're not right. even close, but we'll make our way there. I know where the train station is. Bill, we're going. We have to go to the train. Yeah, have an to the <laughs> that is cool. We're going. Oh, <laughs> make it easy, dude. Almost like a, a just a, a four seater. Okay. And it just takes you around Space Mountain, so you just go around. Okay. And it's one of the coolest things. Like I love it, and there's never a line because it's not like it's not a thrill ride. Right, right. But right. it takes you around the whole park, and you get to see the whole park. So it's like I, I want to put one of those. And it's up high, so it's up high, so oh, you're overlooking yes. everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just slowly going around. It's like a, a walking escalator, but you have seats. Yes. And then it takes you through it. I would love to put that in a stadium. Did you find lunch? Oh wow, this is beautiful. Were you laughing because I faced on you? Do <laughs> you think you're in trouble or what? I was, yeah, I thought I was getting fired. Yeah. <laughs> we made it. Sweet. This roll, Thank you. Cajun grilled something, steak, <laughs> onion, cream corn, cream corn, and a chicken. Just finished lunch, now we're off to the top of the stadium to do a fan's first chat. Like, I think you're leading us astray. The, the, walls, the walls are getting tighter and tighter. Yeah. I walk these steps to the time we get to the train. Oh my. Dude, uh, I think my, my heart rate's at like 140 right now. What are you Just watching cops. <laughs> watching cops. Don't want to be on my blog? Tell them Coach Rack taught you. Would you like to say it to the people at home on the blog? Tell them the Coach Rack taught you. That's right. So don't right. stop me now. <laughs> That's good, dude. I was thinking this morning about we we need to think about one thing. Yep. <clears throat> no, I don't, don't want, want no scrubs. Scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. Hanging out the passenger side of his best friend's ride, trying to holler at me. The uniform person hasn't given you your uniform? No, and I need. Okay. One. Me and my I'm uniform guy will right talk now. and okay. get that figured out. I am so well, sorry that you guys haven't been. Uh, remember when you told I would me say the other I'm day that I made the team? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, we talked about it. Okay. My uniform guy though apparently didn't get the memo. That's not on you. That's not on you. It's on you. That's on him. No, it's on you. I can. <laughs> it is on me. You know what? You know what? I don't want to have to do this. I will take responsibility though. Okay. okay. I think that as the leader of this operation, I should be taking right, responsibility. And then I will start. Even when it's not I my fault. I want to start. We yes? want to be in left field. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I think you need to find a new position. Um. Okay. I'm. I'm okay, okay with that. I can do okay. that. Uh, what's, your, what's your proposition? My initials also spell rack, but they're R A K. Really? The pitching series coming out shortly. You heard it here first. This feel like a dream. This feels like. Yeah. All right. We made it to the location of our fans' first talk. It's roughly a half mile walk from the, where we got food. This is just about the furthest seat in the ballpark. We're about to have our fans' first chat, and then I think it's back. It's after that. Let's go. This is 
it's still a pretty good seat. That's what I'm saying, you can see everything. Yeah, no, the roof comes this way. It just looks like a bunch of iron bars it to just, me. It so just I, slides back this way. It might like uh, yeah, telescope in on itself this way. Like, I think it's like layered. Oh, okay. Now, to look where we are. The furthest away a fan has ever seen our product. But by putting ourselves back in our fan shoes and our seats here, I hope we all think about how do these fans up in this section, those fans up in this section, how do they have the best experience that ever had in a sporting event? It echoes up here. It echoes a lot. I think this is part two or three of us getting lost in the stadium. Um, working our way back to the clubhouse, but I don't know where to go. I think we're getting there, though. <laughs> Honestly, I usually never make it smoothly. I always got to hop at least one ring. Really. Yeah, this picture yeah, passed. This entrance point is going to be where all of the outfield and upper deck seating is. You're hit by pitch. Only love can hurt like this. Everybody dance now. Trick pitch and the jump over. Let's take this picture, then we're going to walk through this march. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so it's now 12.25. We are doing a little walkthrough of what the plaza party is going to look like. Ah, shoot. Okay, that's all I got. <laughs> Did you know the World Series rings are that big? Yeah, they were fitted for me. Oh, it's me. I made it. All right. Still, did they make you a sign? I hope so. Otherwise, I mean, the sign's probably not gonna be as tall as you, though. Just glue it to my face. Stage, the stage itself is across this street. It is a draft size stage, so. Listen, it, you need to stay under your sign, because if you try to move back and forth by cracks, we know the kids then will just stay in one spot. The inner videographer and photographer in me is like going crazy because it, the lighting in here is like, Iconic. It's like ethereal. Like, watch this. I'm about to get a shot of Cram over here. It's gonna look majestic. Just watch this. All right, next up, we got rehearsal for Kyle Luig's entrance. This is a 500 Days of Summer Joseph Gordon Levitt dance, I think. So, my one responsibility in this dance is to just give him finger guns as he walks by me. So, I think we should be good on this one. There we go, did my part. <laughs> Doc, if you had to attend this game as a fan, where would you sit? You know, like the bottom seat in left field. Okay, I like that. Potential for a home run. Yep. You can see everything, so. I like Probably that pick. That. We finished with the rehearsals way late, but now it's finally time to hit some baseball, so let's go. That sounds so good, dude. That's the first ball I've ever hit over a big league fence before. That's pretty cool. Let's go. We just finished BP. Now it's time for the coaches and staff to hit because, I mean, once in a lifetime thing, you'll be able to hit on this field. And then we're going to be getting into our pregame. Hey, hey, hey. Side. 
right and left and right and left. Turn around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. I Don't run from nothing, dog. Get you. Come on, dear man. Low, right. Yeah. I got right. into it. Right. Middle of our scrimmage rehearsals, and then we got a coach pitch scrimmage coming right up. I'll hopefully get some footage during that. See you guys in a sec. This is the greatest camera in sports. This is Rax Nikon. We are about three innings into this coach pitch scrimmage. Party animals are kicking our butt right now. Um, I blame that on our pitcher. So, Ray Ortega, step it up a notch, brother. Now one for two on the day, we'll roll over and a bomb, but I just made my first backflip catch. Um, still a scrimmage, but first time off a live batter, so pumped about that. If I get footage, I'll show it right now. Otherwise, you just have to take my word for it. You guys are witnessing the first time in history that someone on stilts is hitting at Minute Maid Park. Dalton, what inning are we in? This is uh, this is the top of the ninth inning, aka the last inning, unless they tie it up, and then we don't score, then we go to showdown. <laughs> Coach Gilliam's gonna shut him down. Uh, we were working really hard to get this lead. Yeah. A lot of fans screaming our names, calling our names for us to win this game, and uh, we just want to dance, so we gotta win. Yeah, absolutely, man. Thank you. All right, uh, party animals are doing their victory celebration. They came back and won it in the last inning. I haven't seen them do this dance in a long time, so let's let's give it a look. Um, now it's time to go back to the hotel. All right, all showered up. Um, as you can see, Minute Maid Park is behind me. Uh, going to get some dinner, and then it's back to the hotel and get some rest before tomorrow. DJ and I are about to have dinner now. Very excited about that. What have you been doing up to? This? I've been hanging with the girls. <laughs> She's been hanging with the girls. All right. Wait this way. Oh, wait this way? Okay. I think he's going to have like, the hotel bar. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. You got yours early, I think. Now it's day two, it's about 9.45 in the morning, but today is game day. One detail that I left out from yesterday is that I hit a home run in the game. Um, or I might have mentioned it like casually in passing, but that was so cool. Like it barely hooked around the foul pole. Again, Coach Piss scrimmage, but they like had the train going down um, in left field. So that was kind of like a, a bucket list thing that I kind of glossed over. I hope they have footage. If they have footage from the scrimmage, then I will show you. Otherwise, Again, you'll just have to take my word for it. So we got to breakfast a little late, but we ran down the cart lady, um, got a little bit here. So 10.30 bus, we got about 15 minutes to eat. Those lids never fit right on the coffee, do they? They never, but now it's a, it's a test of balance. That's right. It's also gonna be a testament to my balance today in the box. A test of your balance and your speed. Can you oh, make it to the bus oh, on time? Oh, only oh. two drops, so watch this. I was editing the vlog and it was, you could hear the like 150 people that were out there or whatever. That sounded so loud on the vlog, so. 40K is gonna blow your speakers off this camera. <laughs> Howdy. 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 What's up, everybody? Tell me again what you're doing. What you're doing tomorrow? Wake up, and I'm gonna be grateful for my day. First of all. Yep. Second of all, I'm gonna go eat. Yep. Then I'm going to lift weights. Uh, then after that, I'm going to get a cowboy hat. I want to get a custom one. I want the whole shebang. Maybe I'll spend three hundred dollars. Maybe. But I'm. If, if that's what it is, then so be it. Because everyone needs a cowboy hat. Yeah. 
We're walking through the security. It's so cold. Why is it cold? This is Texas. You can see the field through that little window. It's kind of cool. I'm impressed with how many like pipes there are that run. There are wires and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you, sir. Everyone is dressed to the nines out here. Crazy. You guys look good. Oh, 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 guys look good. Oh, nice. Walking down the tunnel, um, we're gonna go get food here in a second. So back up above the train station. Now we know how to get there because we're not gonna get lost. <laughs> so it looks like they just did like a little photo shoot out in the center field. Kind of cute. Um, <laughs> everyone's dressed in suits. I didn't really get the memo. They said to dress up, and I just really wasn't feeling it. So. Um, oh well. Let's, let's check out what fit kind of fits we got going on though. <laughs> you can take pictures with me? Yeah, if any of you guys want photos, I got you. Oh. I'm gonna pause on the vlog. We're gonna do a little photo shoot here so you guys will see those photos in a second. See I'm from Texas, where we sit riding swangers and put diamonds in our niggas. Put a drink inside my lemonade till it look like a bitch. See I come from the D where we got shakes and we be flexing. If you ain't from my state, then you should know don't miss it. Minute Maid here. This is how broadcasters warm up before their biggest calls. That's right. Play Gotta get warm. Catch. We can't let the calls get cold. All right, we're up to lunch. I think we're gonna do a Bible study there today. We're going through 1 Corinthians 1 through 5. We've been doing a Bible study every single week um, thus far. <laughs> All right, we're about to have lunch. Um, looks like we got shrimp. Shrimp shish kebabs. Okay, thank you. Just finished lunch, decided to have the Bible study behind home plate, so we are on our way there now. We'll see you there. Oh. Nothing? No. What's your favorite breakfast cereal? Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms, good yeah. choice. Do you, are you one of those people who picks out the marshmallows and then eats all of them? Nope. No? Okay, Isn't I respect you. Like, good. Um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Mm, really good choice. Do you drink the milk afterwards or no? Yeah. You do? Okay, <laughs> good call. Our prophecy of not just Jesus' birth and life, but also the end times. Mm -hmm. And then all these are letters from Paul. So Rome, like God, he uses unqualified people to do qualified works. God wants me, God wants me here. Like yeah. he's in charge, it's his plan. It's not because of me that's got me here, but like I'm supposed to be here still. Yes. First Corinthians chapter one, verse 29, where it says, so that none may boast before him. I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the growth. So neither he who plants nor he who waters is anything, but only God who gives the growth. Again, this is a, a prayer before taking the stage. What have I to offer here that might sustain the souls of others? Alone, I have little more to show beneath this scrutiny of lights than my own pride and insecurity, my craving for praise and my fear of rejection. Rather, let me offer something greater in this place, O oh Christ. As I step onto this stage, meet me amidst the wreckage of my ego and my woundedness, and through me give what I alone cannot. I offer you all that I have, my talents, my training, the years spent honing and crafting and creating, my passions, my personality, my history, the many sacrifices I and others have made in order for me to be here, I give you even my brokenness, of which I am also a steward. I offer now these incomplete and insufficient provisions, remembering how you, in your days among us, twice blessed inadequate offerings, fashioning them into miraculous feasts that would sustain crowds in their hard journeys. I pray that you would likewise receive and bless and multiply my own meager gifts, Jesus, for the benefit of all who have gathered here. Let these humble elements in your hands become a true nourishment for those who hunger for you and for those who have not yet wakened to their deepest hungers. Let my brief service to them be like the opening of a window through which the breezes of a far country might blow, stirring eternal longings to life. Take this tiny heap of my talents and my brokenness alike, this jumble of what is best and worst in me, and meld it to the greater work of your spirit, using each facet as you will, so that even as the sunlight coursing through a cracked prism, your grace might somehow be revealed upon this stage in whatever gloried and peculiar pa patterns you have fashioned me to display. Amen. Filled up with the Holy Spirit. Dude. Who cares? That's what, I'm saying, That's what I'm saying, man. I feel like I actually got my head on straight. So easy to get consumed in, in how you play, how you perform. Oh, am I going to get a home run today? Am I going to get a hit today? Um, and then you put that into perspective with what our actual calling is, and it's like, oh, that doesn't doesn't matter how I do. It doesn't matter what kind of glory I get today. It's about glorifying the King, the giver of all of this. So Amen. we're blessed to be here. Amen. And I still might hit a home run, though. Amen. <laughs> yeah, we still might do that, though. <laughs> what are we doing here, Bill? Barrel control in, watch this. All right, good, let's see it. Well, that's gonna be an interesting one. Oh, that's that's impressive. 
Who wants it? Who wants it? You got Tanner? No way. <laughs> yesterday was hot. It's hot. It's dog yesterday. It That's was. what I'm saying. So now I'm cold. And I'm chilly. <laughs> and I like being chilly when I play baseball. Oh my gosh. Well, we gotta watch that one. That's a nice one. Oh, good barrel. Yep. Good. <laughs> Got it. Never. Okay, just finished showering and getting into uniform, and I was called outside. Hey, we got a meeting, so I had to run out here. My hair is still wet, um, but we're about to do some rehearsals. And after that, we got VIB. For those of you who don't know what VIB is, it's like the VIP experience for fans, so they can come in early, sign autographs, take photos, all that good stuff, and then they also get first choice at seats in the stadium, which is probably the biggest perk for them. They get in a little bit early, so we got that rolling here in about 35, 40 minutes. Um, so after we're done with rehearsals, we're gonna run in, get changed, get dressed, get some eye black on, throw on a headband, and it's go time. All right, all done with rehearsals. Um, now we're eye blacked up, we're ready to go. I think next up we got VIB here in about 15 minutes. Yes, sir. You go a little bit higher. You see, you see your mistakes? Yeah, fill it in. Good. It's like a metaphor. Mm, come on. That's life. That's right. Life's like putting on eye black. That's right. I feel great. I'm just deciding. Deciding between eye blacks? I colored or mm. just all black. Dang. Tough decision. Great to meet you. Thanks for joining us. Roy, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, so we're going to have Roy Oswald pitching for us tonight. <laughs> Apparently, Jesse just walked in with Roy, so he's pitching like the third or fourth inning, so stay tuned for that. Kind of shocked, and the next thing I know, from that day forward, I've never been sore. My arm never been sore. <laughs> I don't ice, I don't do nothing. I just, I've never been sore. The VIB tables are set up. Today we're rocking two Sharpies. We're gonna be signing a lot of things. VIB is normally around 100 people, 75 to 100. Today, I believe, is around 350. So it's gonna be a busy one. It's gonna be a lot of autographs signed here. That's why we're starting a little bit earlier today than usual. So yesterday I did the math and there's 41,000 fans. There's roughly 60 of us players and coaches, okay? That comes down to 683 fans per player or coach. We got five hours to finish empty. Quick, I just need a pause. What, what's still doing over here? We're here at VIB, uh, signing some autographs. What's your name? Vine and Luca, all right. Pleasure to meet you guys. We got the game coming up soon. We'll see you there. Some kid wants to race, so we're about to film it, all right? <laughs> Dusted. Tell me your name. Just finished VIB. Where are we headed? We are headed to the march, baby. To the march. So this is the calm before the storm. We're about to go outside. Jess is about to give us a talk. You guys haven't seen also a guy named Roger Clemens is pitching for us tonight. No one knows that yet. 20,000 people are already out there. This is unbelievable. They're here for us because of every moment we put in the last few years. Bring the energy, bring the fun. Let's do this. Let's do it. Go! GG, they're all up there in that second deck in the club, so um, kind of cool. I already see this way before game time, and this place is already starting to fill up. Um, and we still got like two hours to game time. Getting some waves from people over there. Uh, just for you guys. We're gonna vlog a vlog. Hey, vlogging, vlog, 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 vlog session. Vlog. Look at that. Look at hey, that. We're vlogging. Alright, so we got some people that want to see the vlog, want to be in the vlog. Bill just did banana in the pants, where they throw a banana off the top deck, and some dude just caught it. That's wild. 
Jesse for the blog, congratulations. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. It's about 40 minutes uh, to game time, and this is the crowd that we are working with. Just finished our warm up, that was insane. Party animals just lit off fireworks indoors. So I just had a performance to Don't Stop Me Now. Uh, that was fun, now Josh Reddick just went up to the plate. Clemens just pitched that last inning. Casual, I know. And Jason Swan hit an absolute mammo. Nanook. So now here we are in the last inning. Jackson Olsen's up, tied 4-4 game. We're having ourselves a ball game. We are one pitch away, a ball is... I got strike, I got barrel over shortstop. I love that. finish. We're about to head over to the Plaza Party now to go sign some autographs. Um, also, I just walked by like Jake Peavy um, as I'm walking out here, which is kind of cool. He was like, he said his kids watch my videos, which is sweet. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see you out there at the Plaza Party. But Callie's going to be my bodyguard who's going here to escort go. me out there. Um, I hope to not get killed by a bunch of kids tonight. So I'll die before you die, Come I on, guess. So <laughs> Thanks. That's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? John Carter. John Carter just gave me these, so uh, shout out my boy. Taking a little break from signing stuff. We're about to do a little hey baby to close this thing out. Three. Yeah. All right, three, two, one. Yeah. All right.